Next we come to section 3.3 forward calculations. Forward exchange rates are generally quoted in terms of points or pips. We've already talked about the concept of a forward rate and I will refresh that concept very briefly. A spot rate is the rate that is in effect now. In our example here, which is based on the USD Euro exchange rates, the spot rate is 1.2875. The forward rate is the rate that we lock in today for a transaction in the future. And these numbers over here give us various forward rates. This indicates the forward rate for a one week forward transaction. This number over here indicates what the forward rate should be for a 12 month or one year transaction. In other words, we are locking in a rate today for a transaction that will take place after 12 months. Now let's understand what minus 26.5 means. The minus is straightforward. All this is saying is that the forward rate is less than the spot rate. So we can look at that minus sign and immediately say that the base currency, in this case the euro, is weakening. Or we also say that the euro is the weaker currency over here. Now, how do we connect 26.5 to this number, the spot rate? When we have two currencies, such as the US dollar to euro, where the quoting convention is to use four decimal places, then we convert this number, which is in points or pips, into a decimal by dividing this number by 10,000. The way you remember this, and this is a convention, if you have four decimal places in a quoting convention, then to convert points into a decimal, you take the points number or the pips number and divide by 10,000. 10,000 has four zeros. So this four and the four zeros is the same number. What do we get when we divide 26.5 by 10,000? This is your basic class six maths. You move the decimal place back four places, one, two, three, four. So this is the number in decimals. Since we have a minus here, we also put a minus. Now we subtract this number from 1.2875. So we have 1.2875 minus 0 0.00265. And this gives us this number. Notice that the forward rate is lower than the spot rate by this amount. At times, forward points are expressed as a percentage of the spot rate, and you see that calculation over here. The forward points 26.5 can be converted into this decimal. The decimal as a percentage of 1.2875 is minus 0.21% approximately. In the example that I just showed you, we converted points to decimal by dividing by 10,000. For some currencies, such as the Japanese yen, or I should say for some exchange rates, such as Japanese yen to USD, the convention is to use two decimal places. When we have a two decimal place convention, then converting points to decimal requires a division by 100. So let's do this simple example. We have the spot exchange rate, which is 100.55, and the six month forward rate, which is 100.40. The difference between these two numbers in decimal is equal to 0. 1, 5, and this is actually a negative. The forward rate is lower in this example. That is the decimal number. So what is the number of forward points or pips? 
the points here would mean that we multiply by 100. When we multiply by 100, we will have minus 15. So notice that if we were given the points, then to convert to decimal, we would divide by 100 and get to this number. And we would then subtract this number from the spot rate in order to come up with the forward rate. In the questions that you might get on the exam, either you will be dividing by 10,000 to come up with the decimal number, or you will be dividing by 100 depending on the exchange rate which is given. We will now talk about the link between spot rates, forward rates, and interest rates. And that link is given by this formula, which is extremely important and one that you must memorize. I will write this down and then we will use some very simple numbers to compute the forward rate. The forward rate, which is expressed as a price currency over base currency, is equal to the spot rate, again expressed as price over base, multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate in the price currency, divided by 1 plus the interest rate in the base currency. Notice that the base currency interest rate is in the base in this formula base being the denominator. Now let us apply a few numbers here. Say the spot rate of the rupee to dollar and notice that the dollar here is the base currency. That spot rate let's say is 100 and then the interest rate for the price currency which is the rupee is 10 percent and we are talking about one year interest rates and let's say that this is a one year forward contract just to keep things simple we multiply by one plus the rupee interest rate which is 10 percent or 0 0.1 and then we divide by one plus the base currency interest rate which is one percent in the denominator, we then have 1 plus 0 0.01. When we do the calculation, we get 108.91. So this is the forward rate which we compute based on the spot rate and the interest rates in the two different currencies. Again, I emphasize that this is an extremely important formula to remember. Now, a few important points related to this formula. The currency with the higher interest rate will always trade at a discount in the forward market. In the example that we just talked about, we had a given spot rate. The base currency here was the dollar. Remember, this was 100 rupees to the dollar. So the base currency was the dollar and the price currency was the rupee. And we said that the interest rate for the price currency or the rupee was 10% and the interest rate for the base currency, i.e. the dollar, was 1%. The rupee has the higher interest rate. This means that the rupee will trade at a discount. Trading at a discount means that in terms of the forward rate, the rupee is weakening. The forward rate that we just calculated was 108.9. So the rate is going from 100 to 108.91. The base currency, the dollar is clearly strengthening and we've done this enough times. When the spot rate goes up, that means that the base is strengthening, which means that the rupee is weakening. If this number, the forward rate, shows that a given currency is weakening, then we say that that currency is trading at a discount. So here the rupee is trading at a discount. What about the currency with the lower interest rate? The currency with the lower interest rate is clearly the dollar and this will trade at a premium in the forward market and that is what we see over here. The dollar is trading at a premium the dollar's forward rate is higher 
than the spot rate. This relationship helps ensure that there is no arbitrage. And to understand this, let us do a very simple example. For a moment, let us assume that the spot rate is 100 and the forward rate is 100. If these were indeed the interest rates where on the rupee we can get 10% and the dollar is only paying 1%, then what an arbitrager could do is take a dollar, convert it into 100 rupees, get 10% on the rupee and then convert back into dollars and clearly when he converts back into dollars, he will get more than what he would get simply by investing dollars at 1%. And he would do so without taking any risk. If someone can get a return of more than 1% on the dollar without taking risk, that is arbitrage. The only exchange rate that prevents any sort of arbitrage in this context is this particular rate of 108.91, which is calculated based on the interest rates in both currencies. Next point, which is a subtle point and one that we will see in examples later, if the forward contract is for X days, let's say 90 days, then we make an adjustment based on 90 over 360. So what do I mean by that? If we are talking about a 90-day forward contract using the same interest rates, then the forward rate of the rupee to dollar would be equal to the spot rate, which is 100, into 1 plus the interest rate in the price currency, which we've said is 0 0.1, this would then be multiplied by 90 over 360 and in the denominator we'll have 1 plus 0 0.01 and this would also be multiplied by 90 over 360. We are using 90 over 360 to deannualize these interest rates. Now let's work through example 6 in the curriculum. And I want you to try this first before looking at the solution. Here is how you think about this. We are taking a French perspective. The relevant currency is the euro. If the French company is going to receive 50 million pounds at some point in the future, the risk is that the pound will be weaker relative to the euro when the money is received. To mitigate that risk, what the French company can do is sell pounds in the forward market. And remember from earlier discussions that selling pounds is exactly the same as buying euro. So if you look at the solutions, or if you look at the options, the correct answer would be B, we would buy euro in the forward market and the relevant rate is 0 0.87506 so the correct answer is b we come up with this number by using the spot rate and adjusting based on the forward points for the second question the two possible answers are a and c but remember in questions like this, when we are using the forward rate formula that I just showed you, the best interpretation is this one, where we can say for sure that if interest rates are higher in a given region, here it's the Eurozone, then that currency will have a lower forward rate relative to the spot rate. In other words, here we can see that the euro is down. In other words, the forward rate is less than the spot rate for the euro, the euro being the base currency. If this is true, then we must have a situation where the eurozone has higher rates. 
this comes with practice once you've done a question like this you will be able to do this right on the exam next we need to do a basic calculation if the 12 month forward rate is this then based on the data given the 12 month forward points are closest to what here is what you do simply take the difference between the forward rate and the spot rate that gives you a decimal number and remember with pound euro we multiply by 10,000 to come up with the points the answer is minus 22.5 next question if a second dealer is quoting the euro at a 0.3 percent discount then what can the french company do to make some money the first thing you do is calculate what the forward rate would be and applying the 0.3 percent discount you notice that the second dealer is offering a forward rate of this much compare this with what the first dealer is offering once you've made the comparison you apply rule number one of finance which is that you buy low and sell high in this particular case you will buy in the forward market from the dealer who is selling low and you will sell to the dealer who will buy at a high price so who do you buy from in the forward market clearly this number is lower so you will buy from dealer two or the second dealer so you will lock in the 12 month euro rate you will buy the base currency the euro from the second dealer in the forward market and you will sell to the original dealer because he is giving you a higher price for the euro correct answer is b and finally you need to do this calculation here is what you do note that the euro is the base currency therefore the interest rate for the euro which is this number over here shows up in the denominator and the interest rate of the price currency which is the pound shows up here in the numerator we make the adjustment for 270 days and we come up with this forward rate since the euro interest rate is higher the forward rate is lower than the spot rate the euro is trading at a discount relative to the pound the question asks for the number of forward points so we will do the forward rate minus the spot rate and multiply by 10,000 and that will give you